All right, I've got Marissa and Shelby, the founders of Conduit Tech. Uh, they've been really involved with helping me out with some of my teaching content. They sponsored my Manual J class. Now I'm gonna flip the camera around and we're gonna talk about how Conduit Tech is changing the world when it comes to doing load calculations on existing houses. All right, well, it's nice to meet you guys. Um, I'm Shelby, this is Marissa, Hi. co founders Conduit, and what we're building is load calculation and sales tooling for residential heating and cooling contractors. And our main objective is to help folks sell with the quality work that they're already doing and that they want to do with their customer, but use it as a sales tool um, and use it to outshine their competitors. So over to Marissa, you can describe a little bit about the product. Yeah, so we're using LiDAR to power a room by room load calculation. So, uh, what is LiDAR? Good question. LiDAR is a little sensor in iPads and iPhones, or that's one place where you can find okay. it. And basically we shoot out this non-visible laser and it helps us map a 3D model of the home. So okay. you walk into the space, you do a quick scan over the structure, it takes a couple minutes, then in 15 minutes in total you get a 3D model of the home, yep. you get a 2D floor plan to plan your install, and then you get a room by room load calculation. So it's all the data you need to make the first part of the sales process get going with the homeowner, um, and then all the information you need to plan the, plan the process with your install team and show the homeowner where things are going to go in their space. Yeah, it is really quick. Um, one of the most time consuming things about doing the load calculation is measuring the house. And when you can just automate that with scanning up and down the walls and it measures it for you within just a few minutes, like I can do my house in less than seven minutes now, what something that probably would have taken me at least 30 by hand. So that's huge. That takes the process down and makes it repeatable and you can get a lot more estimates done in a day and they're accurate. Um, and exciting stuff going on next week, you are go going to get or try to get your ACA certification okay, so that you're going to be certified manual J, right? So how hard is it to get that done? Like for a company, what kind of commitment does it take for a company like you to be certified manual J software? Yeah, so we're working on this over the next few weeks, but it's really been a year and a half to get to yeah. this point. There's a lot that has to be built, a lot that has to be available to a user, and, and we work to make sure that everything is available to the user and usable in the field, so you can change these inputs in the field. But it's been a really long process. Our entire engineering team, super talented engineers, has been focused on this. So these load calcs are usable for permits, for rebates, for incentives, for anything official that you want this document for. It can be started by free. Yeah, so yeah. A tremendous amount of work goes into making it manual J because there are load calc softwares out there. You can get an app that supposedly does load calculation, but the benchmark is manual J. And so that just shows that you are taking this very seriously. And with electrification coming, heat pump rebates coming, they're going to require manual J's for companies to take advantage of this and grow their company, taking advantage of all this money that's getting injected into our industry, um, your your app is going to make it so much easier for a company to be successful. Um, so, yeah, so maybe just take us through, like, some of, I'm going to zoom in on the screen right here and try to, um, so what is the, can you see what, what I'm seeing on the screen? So just kind of talk through kind of what, what we're looking at here with some of these reports, the floor plan. Well, what we'll do is if we can start from the top, but what we enable is the visualization okay. of what a system could look like, both from a quantitative perspective and a visual perspective. So in a second, what we'll be able to show you is the process of scanning, okay. um, and that process of scanning starts with taking the device, in this case an iPad Pro, yep. using it to scan out the building structure and create that 3D model and that 2D floor plan of that home. Okay. And so what you'll see in a moment is one of our early users who's using it on his own home, and what he's doing is he's just repositioning the iPad as he scans. Right. And as he scans the home, what he's able to do is build out a 3D model um, just by moving that camera up and down. Um, and it's a, it's a simple motion, and it's all just about gathering different points to use that yep. LiDAR sensor on. And it detects walls, it detects what is a door, what yep. is a window, what exactly. is a couch, and it doesn't worry about the couch, it kind of discards that. But, exactly. Um, so yeah. it's, it's a very smart program. When you're scanning a house, it is uncanny what it can detect. It can detect corners, angles, all, I mean, it's it's just amazing to use. Absolutely. So you can build a job um, right off the bat. You can build a job from a template. You can build a job um, from from 
from scratch, and what you're able to do then is update any of those building materials uh, that you would expect and, and uh, require for a manual J, and then you can uh, proceed just to head to scanning. Yeah. And so on that scanning piece, which you just saw, um, that's the scanning process. It builds out that 3D model, that 2D floor plan, and that load calculation. We match all that information together, and you got your loads. Yep, and there was one other cool feature that just came out that we're sort of beta testing and that's when we're trying to sell a mini split we can virtually plop that mini split head on the wall and show the customer how their room is going to look like with that mini split now that's an incredible sales tool can you talk a little bit more about that absolutely so the mini split visualization feature is one of first of many different features we plan to deploy this year um, and it is enabled you to say here's my wall here's what that mini split is going to look like on that wall let me right. reposition it and show you um, this is it could go above your bed it could go here right I mean, there's probably only a few places that it would actually go in reality but you can help the homeowner think through what does this actually look yep. like and mean for me um, so that you can avoid showing up on site with that beautiful ductless mini split that the homeowner does not want right right yeah and i've I've had to do that the hard way before years ago where I took a picture of their bedroom and then like photoshopped a mini split that I got off of Google Pictures yeah. just to try to show them to convince them it's going to look okay and now we can do yeah it's just it was very clumsy and I didn't want to have to ever repeat that again so now with this app you can you can actually do that virtually so really cool stuff and uh, look be looking for further content for me as I continue to help them um, get this uh, app out there and I'll be scanning my house and showing you just how easy it is in the near future.